New at six, turmoil at a well-known school for the hearing impaired with a top administrator being replaced. A student walkout happened today at the school in Fremont. Teachers have complained about punitive management techniques. Now, as our Kid Doe reports, they are not satisfied with the new change in leadership. At the California School for the Deaf in Fremont, the big lesson of the day, civil disobedience. About 50 high school students walked out of class briefly, and under the watchful eye of the staff and a dozen parents, they protested dramatic changes at the school. <laughs> Using a messaging app, the students told us, we want Dr. Vernig to leave. Dr. Sean Vernig was the school superintendent. <laughs> students, parents, and teachers say for the past five years, he cut popular programs, ignored complaints, and ran one of the premier schools in the country for fear, intimidation, and retaliation. We feel like we're not getting what we need. We need him to leave so we can focus on getting back. After weeks of complaints to the State Department of Education, Vernick was removed and temporarily reassigned to work at headquarters in Sacramento until further notice. He is clearly not a fit for this school. He has a lot of potential, but he is not fit for running this school. The state has appointed Scott Kirby as the acting superintendent. Still, for the families and faculty, it's not good enough. They want assurances that Vernick is gone for good. The deaf community also says the Department of Education is often a struggle. I think the state does not understand what the best practices of deaf education are. They're not listening to the educators of the California School for the Deaf. The state gave KPIX5 the same letter they gave to parents, saying State Superintendent Tom Torlingson has been meeting with all the stakeholders and has been, quote, conducting a thorough fact-finding process and exploring ways to enhance communications and outcomes for our students. Uh -oh. In Fremont, Kinto, KPIX 5.